Broadcast is live. And it says, watch live, and I will do that. There we go. And okay. In the house. Hello, Louis <laughs> and Hila. We're glad you're here this morning. How are you, Shel? I'm good. Lois says she's going to put this on the TV in her craft room and watch while she cleans in there. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. I, I like that. I, I do that a lot. I, I use the big screen. So anyway, today's art. Hey, Becky. Hi. Today's art is inspired by the full moon. Um, you know, Shell has this full moon group that she's been doing since the beginning of the year. And so we are inspired by the full moon for the month of August. And the full moon for the month of August is the sturgeon moon. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that and I thought, oh boy, fish. It's, it's so appropriate for this month because it seems like every prompt we've had this month is fish. Yes. <laughs> I so, haven't actually seen the full moon, um, except for kind of from from the car so far. So, yeah, but I'm just gonna wing it. Don't know what a sturgeon is. It's kind of this prehistoric looking thing, right here. Um, the the thing that I'm gonna pull out of this is not the fish, but the texture and the colorization on the scales. So that's where I'm headed. Where are you headed today? Um, I read a lot about the sturgeon. And uh, the reason that the full moon, full moon for this month is the sturgeon moon is because the Native Americans uh, found that the sturgeon were pr plentiful in the Great Lakes at this time of year. So most of these full moon names <clears throat> are from Native American names where they kind of uh, use the moon as a way to decide what they were going to do next. Was it harvest time? Was it, you know, that was how they, they manage these things. And one thing that's weird about the sturgeons that people cannot explain is that they like to leap for no reason. They're not jumping at a fly or something. They just enjoy leaping out of the water like dolphins and whales do for fun, for playing or whatever. So my, I'm going to be very literal. I just got home last night and I, I'm not, I don't have time to be real cerebral about this. <laughs> I'm going to make a leaping sturgeon in front of a full moon. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. I like that. that. That really is a very cool thing to do. So I was, you know, last week I was playing with resin. This is just a resin splot that I had from the leftover stuff. So I think I'm going to incorporate that into my piece today. But um, I'll have resin that's left over. These are, okay, this was just a test piece that I was working with where I was uh, playing around with the moon shape and, you know, different colors and things with the resin. Just trying to get a feel for it. Um, and this is just on some uh, MDF board. And that's what I'm working on today. I've got a piece of this uh, MDF and I've taped it all off and I painted it with black gesso. And then I started doing some stamping for texture in the background because we all know that you have to have layers in the galaxy. You have to have layers. So, you know, this is just going to become one of the layers in there as I make my resin piece. Uh, trying to get everything in the camera here. For you guys. It's, it's difficult because we have half a page, right? <laughs> I have half a page. So these are some pieces. I was, I was playing around with different products yesterday. If you guys are not familiar with resin, I would say it's a fun thing to play with. I want to say hi. We've got people coming in. We've got uh, Sybil and Cindy and Peggy and Lindy joining us. Laura's here. Hi, guys. So these are our resin molds or molds that are made for clay or resin or that sort of thing. And depending on what you're putting in as an inclusion or, you know, the paints or things, the pigments that you're using, you're going to get different results. So you can see... 
this is going to be different from this depending on what I've included in it. So these are just pieces that I created using resin. And, you know, these can also be incorporated into something like this. I mean, you can add some other planetary pieces, like if you wanted to, you know, add these resin pieces to this, I could certainly add those resin pieces in if I wanted to. Just another dimension, right? Now, those were done with pigment powders. These are done with alcohol ink. And you can see that you get a much more glass-like appearance with the alcohol ink. Um, and I have two of these, so I can glue them. Actually, I can put a, a catch down through the middle, and I can glue those back to back. And I can make a really cool piece, really cool heart out of that. Um, a couple more. I'm cleaning these out because I may have resin left over at the end of the day here that I want to put into the mold. So you can see how pretty those are. Okay. And I have a number of different molds, so you can find these on Amazon easily enough. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, resin makes everything look good, doesn't it? <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm going to start mixing some resin. So I'm going to get my gloves out. Try to protect myself a little bit from the toxins, right? And I have several pieces that I'm working on. Here's one that I was thinking about doing. This one is a pillbox. It's just a, a plain pillbox. And I cut, a, this is some of that paper that I had cut, coated with resin the other day. And so I can attach that and put a coat of resin over the top of that and make that into a real pretty pill box. Um, here's a resin bezel where I, I was thinking about the moon this morning and I had some papers. These are just pieces of printed paper that have some of my artwork on it. And so I have taken some uh, gel medium and glued that into the bezel because if I have leftovers, I will pour that in on top and make a really pretty piece out of that. Okay, so mixing the resin. This resin is a one-to-one -one ratio. Uh, if you get resin, read your own instructions because they vary, you know. Lois is back. Hoot, hoot. <laughs> Hi, Ruth. How are you? So because this is a one-to-one -one ratio, I'm going to start with the part A. And a cup of that. This is a two-ounce cup. Just getting two ounces out. And as you as you read your bottles, you know, it'll tell you how long a working time you have too, depending on the resin. That varies also. That's part A. Oh. Now we get the part B is the hardener. So I will also get a cup of the hardener. And then you have to mix it together for about two minutes, two, three minutes. I'm going to get a good mix on that. 
Okay, so we got our hardener. And I've got a mixing cup, so I'm just going to dump that into my mixing cup. Get a mixing stick here. Good old dollar store stuff here. Get all that out of the bottom of my cup. And get the mixing started. So how was your trip, Paul? Did you have a good trip? Okay, this interesting piece of paper was actually made by Cecilia Forteza. She has a YouTube channel, and there was this thing called the Crazy Pages that was hosted by Martha from Ayala Art, and it was just basically you sent crazy pages to other people, and then people made stuff out of it, and I've been hoarding this piece. I never used it because it's so dang cool. And her, her uh, how she made it is out there, you know, on YouTube. But I thought this looked a lot like water and light coming through the water, like as if the moon was shining and these yellow bits were, um, you know, the, the moonlight coming through. So that's why I'm using this one. So thank you, Cecilia. I'm finally using your paper. It's a heavyweight paper of some sort. Maybe mixed media paper. I don't know. But I'll still have some of it left. It looks pretty. It is. I don't I don't remember. I know I watched the video, but I don't remember how she made it either. So I can't really explain it. <laughs> yeah. It's cool though. I'll tell you that. I think it's alcohol ink of some sort. And I think she did pin work over the top. That's I think what it is. Yeah, it looks like it's on a gloss paper. But the back's not. The back's like a mixed media paper. So I think there's some sort of, I don't know. I'll have to go find out now. Now I'm curious. <laughs> yeah. It's cool paper, though. I like it. That's why I hadn't used it, because it's so cool. I wanted to save it forever and ever and ever and ever. So what I did to prep my board is I just took some stamps. I've got an assortment of stamps. They're textural type stamps. And after I painted it with the gesso, I used some uh, just white pigment ink. This is a Versicolor pigment ink. And I just, you know, inked it up and added that to my background because I don't know how much of that is actually going to show and how much isn't um, you know because depends on where the clear areas are and where the um, colors are going to come in so I'm going to start with a little bit of clear here right in this area because I want to put down I'm going to put down more of those pieces that we did last week. And I'm not sure which one I want to use. Whether I think I might use the smaller one. I think the big one might be overpowering. I think I might use the smaller piece. And this is just that paper that I had coated with the resin last week. I've got a little thin object in there. So I'm just going to... Put that down, get a light coat of the resin on here. Just to start my layers. Um, um, hi, Judy. Hi, Cindy, Laura, Vicki. Good morning. 
and one thing so, rolling in. so it doesn't stick to the bottom i need to put something underneath here so i've just got a this is the top off of my yogurt dish <laughs> real fancy stuff i'm going to put that underneath there to raise it up off the table because there will be overflow just saying there will be overflow Whatever Cecilia used on this paper is not permanent. Because it's coming off a little and smearing a little. It might just be the pen, though. Not sure. I don't know. So for my moon, I used my palette. Um, cheap plate that I use for a palette on my desk to to draw and cut a half fish circle and that's going to be my moon as if it's rising up out of the water same stencil these are gel prints by the way if you guys have been uh, watching my channel yes saw me printing them Yesterday or the day before, I don't know. Not sure. <laughs> I think before I put the moon on, I'm going to do a little bit with this. So I think I'll put that in water and put the lid on. Oh, this is going to be difficult. These are going to glue down now, I think, pretty well. It's hard to glue a whole piece of paper down. <laughs> easier to do small pieces all right so let's make some glaze where's my glazing medium this is glazing medium it's like paint without pigment and so it's a good thing to use if you want to make a thin translucent color to put over something so I'm going to use it to make some glaze colors and so I put that on my palette. I know you guys can't see it. It's so weird how we only have like this partial, <laughs> partial vision here. Yeah, it's and hard to get back that. far enough and still give you a clear view of what we're doing. Yeah. So I am mixing. I'm mixing up resin and other things that I want to use here. I'm just getting out some mixing cups, pouring some of that mm -hmm. clear resin. I will pour some clear later on. But I have, I have five cups out here. And let's see what I want to do. I know I want to do some copper color because I can see some copper in this uh, moon or planet or whatever it is up there. So this is just some um, Perlex pigment powder. And I'm going to add just a little bit of that Perlex to this And make a copper color resin. Put my lid back on. Don't don't lean in on that stuff or breathe it because it's not the best for you. Um, and I also want to do some more clear colors. I'm thinking uh, this cranberry might be a good color. And this is alcohol ink, so I think I'll drop some cranberry into that to get those red tones. And I think I also want a little bit of butterscotch, which is the yellow tones. So 
So we have that going on. So I'll mix those. That's the butterscotch. And this one is the copper pearl X. Get that mixed in really well. And then I'll need a stick for this one. I don't want to contaminate, so I don't. I use a different popsicle stick for each one. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Holly. Hi, Vicki. Okay, so we've got that. Now I want some, I need some white. Some white. Here's a Pearl X. This is my, Micro Pearl, it says. that to be very opaque so I added quite a bit um, I also want some gold I don't know I've got this gold primary elements let's try that too why not that's my motto why not okay well, I think I've selected my colors. So just trying to get that powder mixed in really well. I don't want it clumpy. blend and this one thank you judy and Hila. hello holly the ball it does look a little bit like boats you're right It was a long trip. <laughs> I'm a little bit worn out. Probably catching a cold. You kind of sound that way. Like you're not feeling the best. We we had to load twice and then unload. We had to drive a truck for two days. We just ugh. moving is not fun. No, it's not. And I'm not moving. My son is. Don't worry. As soon as I say that, people will think it's me who's moving. <laughs> See a few spots that got missed, so I'm just touching those up. Dry enough. Right, here's my moon. Do I want it to be right in the center? Probably. Yeah, I'll put it right in the center. Seems like a good plan, as if it's rising up over the water. Because moons do that, right? I don't know. Yeah, sure, sure they do. <laughs> so I want to get real motion. They do. <laughs> and because these are translucent, they're not going to show up as much on this dark. Um. But it's more like a barrier between the other pieces. And it also, you know, will show up the, the things that are underneath here. So, you know, we've got layers of constellations and things underneath here. So I'm 
I'm just going to put a little bit of that down. And go to the gold. I just want to start creating some flow. I want to lay down. You should lay down. <laughs> you want to lay down. <laughs> Too funny. I do. not enough space here. What happened to my fish? Peg, did you take my fish? Oh, there he is. Oh, well. There's my there fish. I'm hungry. <laughs> leaping, leaping. Thank you, Judy. I do plan to rest, but I have a lot of responsibilities that I have neglected here at the house while I was doing all that. So I do have some things I gotta do. And today's chemo day. <laughs> oh boy. So I'm not gonna be resting today until later. Yeah. Gotta go down to the chemo center. I mean, maybe I get lunch at a restaurant out of it, though. Oh, that would be <laughs> nice. Then I don't have to cook. <laughs> so I drew my sturgeon fish. Hey, 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 lay down. Oh, I see what the problem is. Ah, there's two layers of paper there. I drew it based on this stock photo, and I drew it on a piece of... Um, some type of uh, index from a dictionary or something. I don't know. This thin paper to start some of that patterning that the fish has, but I'm going to have to put more on, of course. But I thought it was a good start to have the words in the background. So I did that before the show when we were waiting in the what they call the green room, which is really just the same old studio. I don't know why my studio is not green. Is your studio green? Well, I think that comes from a uh, tradition where it was a green screen that they put people. Yeah. Before they, yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. So I have a couple of different appliances that I can use. I have a heat tool like this. I have uh an air gun like this. I think I'm going to start with the air gun because it's cool air. So I'm going to turn on my compressor. I hope it's not too loud for you guys. And I'm just going to start moving some of this around here. Whiskey effect.
blue on the moon. Oh my gosh. Not a blue moon. Sorry if I'm not reading comments, guys. I She's blowing air at things. Yeah, I'm blowing air at things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blowing air at things. It's getting windy over here. Whoops. It's shaking my table. The compressor shaking my table, so it's knocking stuff off on the floor. <laughs> and I need to... Oh, stop getting blue on the moon. I'm telling you. Bring that up a little bit. Ooh, not a blue moon. Bits of stuff in here. So typically, what I would do with something like this is at this point, once I get it the way I like it, I would let it dry, this layer dry, because the thing about resin is you can come back and put layer after layer on here and give it more depth. And because this is a celestial piece, it requires layers. And you can't really do that in an hour and a half show. I'm sorry to tell you. But you get the gist. You get the idea of what's going on here. How you start to build these things. You want to back up things right now in the middle of the show. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Stupid computer, I swear, it does that every single time. It's like, oh, I think I'll do an update. Oh, I think I'll do a backup. Yeah, no, not right now.
spraying water on the back of the beach. <laughs> Take the edges. Yeah. Triple says, "Thank God for Oh, thank you, thank you. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> I enjoy doing this. Oh, there goes some more stuff. <laughs> uh, Put the stuff on the ground. I think I want to lighten hmm, up. I don't know. I might need another piece. Hmm. The middle of the sky. I'm going to cross it. Make it a little better. Ooh. I can see some low lying areas. I probably use just a dot. And okay, I'm liking that, but I think I want to add some inclusions. You guys see what's going on here? And it's it's still wet and it's still moving. Okay, so I've got some really fine glitter. I think we need a little bit of that in here. Get a spoon. And kind of want it wisping out from the spoon here. Not too much. I don't want to become overbearing with that. It's hard to be judicial with a little spoon like this. I had done something about this moon before I actually... Uh glued the fish on. <laughs> oh. He's in the way. Mm. Why are you in the way, fish? So this will add a little more dimension in here. And that's about all it takes. Maybe just a hint in this area too. And I can see I picked the wrong glitter because it's got blue in it, but that's okay. That's okay. I'll live with it. 
what else do I want? I've got a few. These might be a little bit too big. You know, you can look at all of these types of things that you've got in your stash that just create texture. So at this point, even though it's only been, what, half hour, 40 minutes, um, I need to let this layer dry because you need to build up layers. Like this one is now ready to sat overnight. This one is ready and I can add additional layers to it if I so choose. So this has to get moved aside and wait for some dry time. You know, at least four hours before you go back and put another coat on here. Um, thanks, Peggy. She loves yours too, Shell. Thank you. Hi, Marie. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna set this one aside and let it dry. And let's take a look at this. I'm not real happy with the way some of those things layered up. So, when you're not happy with it, you just come back and do it again, right? Sometimes, yes. Sometimes, no. Sometimes you just throw it against the wall. Oh, no. We'll, we'll do that <laughs> here. Okay, I've got a, got a lid. Put it on, get it up off of the table. And it's got wonderful glare for you guys. Okay. Where can I position this? Maybe it's kind of there. So I kind of like that spiral effect I was getting off of the planet. So I think I'm going to try that with this one also. Oh, you know, but I need... I need a coat to work on. So let's get our clear coat on. All right, we can move with that. Get our next layer down. Remember that piece that I created that, uh, this piece. I'm still thinking about incorporating that into that other piece. We'll see how it turns out. All right, fishy fish. Let's see about you. Laura says that she would call yours done. Yeah. Well, you know, the, the beauty of it is I can I can play as long as I want to. I can keep adding more layers and more layers. You can see on this one, I added a few other inclusions. I'm 
to do, what to do, what to do. Okay, let's see if we can move that around and make me happier. right now it's harder working on these smaller pieces than it is on the bigger ones or at least I'm finding it so I really like this wispy effect that I'm getting so I think I want to create a cloud like effect across planet here. You can see how that has really pushed that behind. It gives it that much more depth. And let's see. Need an alcohol wipe because I got resin all over my gloves. Those alcohol wipes are the best thing for cleanup. But I think this one. Looking at it now, I want to add something else in there. Let me look at and see what I've got. Oh, I've got, I've got some of these pretty glitters that are colors. These are those distress glitters. And I've got some of this um, iced enamel. German glass glitter. They're heavy, so they're going to fall down. I think I like that. Give it kind of a starry effect. Doesn't take much. And what else do I want to use? Do I have a dark? Do I have a dark? Oh, I do. That might be a little bit big. I've got these uh, rocks, cobalt blue, and I've got royal glitter in a blue. Eh, what the heck? It's only a coaster. We'll make the rocks. <laughs> A 
Whoops. See, got a little bit much. Okay, so much for rocks. So now I have another layer on this one. I don't know if you guys can see the dimension. I need to let that dry. So I'm going to set that out of the way. Okay, time to use up stuff. Because I've got a bunch of stuff out on my table. I'll turn my compressor off. And I think I'm going to try... Now I need to put a hmm. I need to put a piece in there. Can't do that one yet. I need to put a. Um, I can't think of the word. Yeah, one of those on there. <laughs> and then their things need to go on there somewhere. Things. I need one of them things on there. Good grief. Okay, so let's pull up. A few things here. I've got a coaster. And let's use some of these clear in here along with a little bit of that. Remember, these are the ones that I did with... Um, alcohol ink. Just trying to get every little bit out of there that I can so I'm not wasting. So that's one color. I'm going to use a little of this gold in here. But I think I want some clear down first. Just regular clear. It seems to be dilute in the alcohol ink one a little bit. So let's come back with some more of that with the alcohol ink in it. Remember, the alcohol ink is the translucent one. And the, so you're going to be able to see through this layer. Trying to get a little more over there on that side where I missed it.
Okay. And then I'll add a little bit of pretty, pretty stuff in here. Inclusion. We've got some art glitter, fine art glitter, and a gold. That would be pretty. Okay. So that's settling in. While that's settling in, I think I'll pour some of this into another mold with some of the Ooh. Iced enamel. No. What do they call this stuff? Oh, I don't know. Lindy says she's done that before, Shell. I'm not sure what she's referring to. Uh, I think it was um, when I said that I wished that I had not put the fish on oh. until after I had fixed up the moon a little bit. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, I think we've all done that. Yeah, I think we have. Okay. See you later, Sybil. Bye, Sybil. Have a good day. I need a little bit more of that pattern, I don't think, up here. I don't know, maybe. He's looking pretty good. I think I need something bright. How about these guys? These are mini mosaics. I'll put a little bit of a little bit of that in there. Clear. Gray on his bottom. One. I'm just trying to work it into the corners. Again. Spoon here. Nice mini mosaic. Not very many people chatting. I almost think maybe the chat stopped or something. I don't know. Um, maybe they know we're not really paying attention. 
Well, usually they talk to one another. I don't know. Maybe everybody's busy doing something. Maybe that would be good, actually. You know, maybe they're all creating something wonderful to share with us later on that would be awesome. sharing. Is that what that you guys would be awesome. I think I'm done with gluing now. I think I'm going to change my lid. I think I'm going to take the tape off and start doing the finishing stuff. Make sure that I've got ways to take it. <laughs> Might have got a little crazy with gluing. Cray cray, going cray cray. It can happen. to work in the corner. <laughs> Allie says she's watching in awe. <laughs> Should we do the finishing with? That's the question. Well, we could start with some highlights, I guess. So get back in there. Don't argue with me. it a little bit. There we go. I can a little bit better. Still need a layer on here.
Okay. And the final touch. These edges I can clean up later. That's it for those. Where are we looking on time? We got about uh, 25 minutes, looks like. I'll set that aside. And let's see if I have enough left in here to glue this down. What I did with this, you see there's holes in the top. I just took some uh, packing tape and put it on the bottom to seal up those holes. And that works. So, oops, just gonna work that around into the edges. Now, these, now that they've had a little chance to sit, I'm gonna hit them and get this on here. Make sure I get a good seal and make sure I get all of that covered right up to the edge so I don't have to come back and glue it down later. I'm going to take this and apply it to the resin. And then I'll put another, when I come back and do those other layers later, I'll come back and put another coat of resin over the top of this one. Just want to make sure it's all pressed down well. And then this, I want to heat. I wish that would move a little bit more. See if I can get it over there without making a mess. Yeah, I think I can. I think I can. Okay. So I'm going to hit this with a heat tool just to get any bubbles out. You don't want to hold it on or burn it. You just want to get the bubbles. Set that aside and set that aside. And I'll be mixing up some more clear in a little bit once I have my other piece ready to go. This stuff. I'm just going to pour out on a sheet and make some paper. This is a new uh, UPO paper I'm trying out. This is something I found on 
uh, Amazon really cheap. It was like, um, I think it was $9.99 or something like that for a pack of this eight and a half by 11 and a half. So yeah, got some of that I'm gonna be playing with. All this out of here. Smear it around. Use it up. squeaking like a squeaky squeak. Everything got so quiet. I'm, I'm breathing. <laughs> ah. I'm telling you, I'm breathing. Let's see. Um, we do have some chat going on. Oh, that's good. They're talking about different sicknesses, I think. Ah, yuck. That's no fun. Yeah. Oh, Barb Clark is here. Hi, Barb. Press down, press up. Press down, press up. Okay. That's about all of that one. All of that one. These little spoons I found are great too, like for embossing powders and things. <laughs> Keep you all contained. Well, they're just they're just tiny, you know, so you don't you don't have those great big things to deal with. I just clean them off with an alcohol wipe and reuse. And they're good to go. But I think I I think I got a pack of a hundred, so it's not like if I, you know, actually tossed one, it was going to be something terrible. And of course, the good old popsicle sticks from the dollar store work too. So I'm just going to mix this around. I can pour some of whatever leftover clear I have on top of this later. This would just be like the color layer. And if you're doing something like this for your celestial sky, you know, you can add some inclusions in here right now. Like I've got this uh, stardust. I can take a little bit of this. Just add a little smattering into this. So that's just using it up. Whatever you got mixed, use it up. And then, you know, we'll come back and put 
more layers on things later. So let's take a look at where we are with this. I may need to heat this a little bit. bubbles on that. I think it's coming along nicely. I think, you know, a few more layers and I'll be happy with my galaxy painting, right? So that's about it for me. It's time to be done. How are you coming, Shell? Uh, I think I'm, I mean, I'm getting there. Yeah. If it's time to be done, it's time to be done. Well, no, it's okay. <laughs> I mean, you can, you can show them what you got. I, I am just, uh, you know, this is at a point where I can't, go any further with that. So let me see if I can I'm trying to get them over to you. good. I need a little bit of heavier shadow around this bottom part of the fish maybe. But... You think I got too much? that in so if you hit the bell above you know you should get a reminder uh next week's is out there and i did get a reminder today so i'm not sure why you guys aren't getting reminders if you are subscribed and clicking that bell for notifications you should be getting them so i apologize 
for anything that's inconvenient for you. But, you know, YouTube is going through some transitions and we just have to roll with uh, what we have here. Yep. YouTube is uh, always going through transitions. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm pretty much done with my painting. Looks really good, Shell. I like it. I feel like there maybe should be some clouds or something, but I don't know. Is time up? No, uh, we, still got 10 not, we got about 10 minutes. If you want to put clouds in, you can. Maybe I'll just. Yeah, and share, share your full moon art with us, guys. Um, we'd love yeah. to see what you're doing if you're doing any full moon art. Yeah, come over to the group. I have a full moon art group. That you can join. Share your art. Finger painting. It's the way to go. Hey, Hanny. Hi. How are you? We're just working on full moon art today. It's the, the sturgeon <laughs> full moon. So that's why you see the fish. I, I chose to use the colors out of the fish. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a bunny. Okay. Whatever you see. You know, it's kind of like looking at clouds in the sky, right? What you see is what you see. It was kind of funny that uh, Pick a Stick had a fish. I know, right? <laughs> you guys don't know about Pick a Stick. Go check it out. Um, the prompt this month had fish in them, too. So it's just really odd. And then they told me that fish came up last August also. So it's like, really? How'd that happen? It must yeah, be. Yeah, it's completely random. It just happens. It's not, it must it's be not a thing. No. I mean, it's just odd. <clears throat> Really odd. Yep, I think I'm done. Okay. I'm as done as I'm going to get. So, you know, I could sit here and fuss forever. Well, Thank couldn't we all? You. Couldn't we all? So, I want to thank you guys for having been with us. And like I said, we are scheduled for next week. So we'll see you then. Yep. Thanks everyone for coming. Thanks for stopping by. Bye for Bye -bye. now.